corporate social responsibility and business strategy. Now you may have realized that by uh, from our understanding to what is corporate social responsibility, we are moving towards the business strategy or corporate strategy. Once we see a link between corporate, once we understand the corporate social responsibility and its link with the business strategy, we will link it with HR strategy. This is what we call the strategic human resource management. So let's see how can we uh, understand that and uh, uh, what is all about these concepts. So there is a recognition that um, corporate uh, social responsibility needs to be an integral part of business strategy. What does it mean? It suggests that when organizations are developing their business strategy or corporate strategy, they should incorporate or demonstrate something that can be related to the corporate social responsibility. So organizations from the very beginning when they are thinking about their business model, they should think about at the very beginning about the corporate social responsibility. It is not necessary that these are the implications for large organizations. It can be a serious implication for a small organization. For example, even a pizza shop or something who is selling a food has the responsibility to offer something which is hygienic, which is good for health, or label whatsoever are the ingredients on the food packaging. So these are the legal things as well, but at the same time, lot of things which comes to the moral obligation. So when you are developing your business strategy, that may include your, um, your strategy to communicate with customers. One should think about what is your corporate social responsibility. You might have observed for a long time uh, or you might have seen an advertisement on the television for quite a while or for quite a long time. That is what we call that fair and lovely. The cream which is being marketed by a company for more than 20-30 years. Does that cream really work? Have you seen people becoming fair and lovely over the period of weeks? It is shown that one week, second week, third week, and you become fair and lovely. Does that communication is morally correct or ethically correct? Does it really work? Or similarly, you might have seen a lot of detergent advertisements on the television. You, are, you have a stain on your shirt or the children have a stains while they are, they are playing um, in the school or while they are playing on the ground, they have stains on their shirt. With the one wash, the shirt is just like a new shirt. Does it really work? Does it really happen? Even you are telling something symbolically that the detergent will clean all the stains from the clothes, but how many times it will take to really clean those clothes? Are you not cheating? with your customers when you are communicating even symbolically this way. So it does not matter how large is the organization or small is the organization, when you are developing your business strategy, you at that time you must demonstrate and explain or discuss what are elements of the corporate social responsibility will be embedded in the business strategy. This is the way we are not going to do the business or this is the way we are not going to increase our profit. So it is often impossible to deter determine underlying corporate motives. What are the corporate motives when they are embedding the corporate social responsibility into their business strategy or when on the other hand they are not embedding the business strategy and corporate strategy together. So is a firm being altruistic, unselfish, or simply trying to maximize profits? What does it mean that? Is a firm being altruistic, that means unselfish, 
or simply trying to maximize profits or is it simply making good business decisions what it is why companies do that why organizations engage corporate social responsibility or uh, or embed the corporate social responsibility with their business strategy is it because they want to make a good business or is it a good business decision or that decision will really facilitate an organization to grow and prosper or it is something good for the society may not be or what is something good for the society for the customers may not be good for you maybe it is an investment you are unwilling to make so this is not clear where the corporate so or motives of the corporate social responsibilities or the range of the motives of corporate social responsibility thank you